Hi, my name is Mitch. I used to make printing videos. Now I make cycling videos. I know that's kind of weird, but to help smooth out the transition, today I'm going to talk about my five favorite cycling related YouTubers in no particular order. But first, I'm overdue for cleaning up my beard. So I'm going to go do that and then I'll come back and we'll watch these videos. All right. That's better. I cleaned up, I walked the dog, took a shower. Uh, it is now 6.24 at night. Oh man, working from home is a trip, right? Let's talk. So I'm trying to step up my, my video making game uh, and make better videos, uh, longer content. So I've actually started like production on a few different videos, but in the meantime, I wanted to make this one so that the channel wasn't just empty. The video I'm most excited about, uh, we got a Peloton. I didn't necessarily, like I wasn't looking for one, but I've been trying to get my fiance Val into cycling for a long time. So as soon as she casually mentioned, should we get a Peloton, uh, we got one right away and she's been riding and that's great. And I'm really curious, uh, can I become stronger as a cyclist by using the Peloton? So I've got a video that I'm in the middle of. <sighs> but in the meantime, my five favorite cycling YouTubers, these are channels that I watch almost every single week. And to be fair, uh, cause it's not like a top five list. I don't know which one's my favorite. I've downloaded an app, Vivian, one second. Ugh. I think she just wants to make an appearance every video. Okay, so I've downloaded this app that has a little spinner and we're gonna use it as a game to figure out which one we're gonna talk about first. So first up is gonna be Nation's number one beast. Okay, I mean, come on. Corey Williams, Justin Williams, Legion of LA. If you don't know who these guys are, you need to check them out. The video that I'll share with you all, this one, their lead out practice, this is insane. Okay. I should probably give some context. First off, they're like amazing athletes, just like insanely strong as you'll see in this. But they also have a really cool mission. Uh, they're working to like make cycling more inclusive uh, if you haven't noticed, like a lot of a lot of road cycling is like a bunch of skinny white guys. Uh, and so they're doing a lot to show that like cycling can be a much bigger sport. And I think it's really awesome. But yeah, just watch their watts on this video. Insane. Uh, so these guys are amazing cyclists. They're, they're paired up with Zwift this year. They're doing a lot of cool stuff. I love watching their videos, like their crit races. That's a, that's the a perfect one to start on. You should definitely check that channel out. All right, uh, number two, let's pull the app back up. And the second YouTube channel is... Also Nation's number one beast. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> and... GCN. GCN is the ESPN of cycling, global cycling network. It's pretty cool. If you're just getting into cycling, it's a really great race, uh, resource, resource to use. They have things as simple as like, what are clipless pedals? Do you need to wear like a kit while you're riding? That's the like cycling clothes. Um, and then they have, they're really entertaining videos. So they have a bunch of presenters. They're all uh, it, they're English, so their humor is like top notch. Seriously, guys, how am I supposed to look cool? One of my favorite videos, let me pull this one up, is okay. So they have this series of like, um, how many road cyclists does it take to beat a time trial bike? Quick little primer on road cycling racing, in case you don't know. Uh, drafting is a thing. So if you're riding right behind somebody, the wind that hits them go can go over you. And so for less watts, you can you, you can go the same speed. So you can use less energy and go the same speed as somebody in front of you. If you have four cyclists together, riding together, uh, in theory, they can draft off of each other and ride faster than the other cyclist. The uh, thread through a lot of these stories is one presenter, Ollie, uh, keeps getting dropped. 
which means like he can't keep up with the other cyclists. The crazy thing is Ollie is super strong. He's a really good cyclist, but all these other presenters are like former pros. GCN's really great. You should definitely check it out. They're hilarious and informative. Awesome. All right, so next let's spin the wheel again. And number three will be Mark Lewis. Uh, this is one that even you cyclists out there, I think may not know. He's an up and coming channel. Uh, he's got like 10,000 subscribers and the guy is a genius. He, he spends a lot of time doing Zwift races, which I enjoy watching. He's really funny, British again, but he's also super motivational. So the video that I suggest you go check out is, um, is his like channel trailer. It's called Transformation from Fat to Fit, How to Become Above Average. That's his whole thing is like becoming above average. I want to do a really great job of explaining it, so I'll put in a little clip from his video right here. Take an activity, any activity, draw a line down the middle of all the people doing it and get into the top half. That's all it's about. If you ever want like a boost of motivation, this guy like works full time, uh, runs like ultra marathons, does triathlons, lots of Zwift races, and a YouTube channel. The guy's a beast. And really funny too. Quads are toast, but nothing new. Spinning. Next up, Phil Guyman, uh, also known as the Cookie Monster. Phil Guyman is here in LA. He is a former world to world tour cyclist and. Uh, cookie aficionado, author, again, really funny, not British. Um, I think he's from Georgia. And the guy, like everybody else so far, is a beast, freakishly strong. He's a climber, uh, as in like cycling climber. His videos are really cool, especially for me, like living in LA, because he'll, he'll uh, you know, he does a lot of routes that I can then go and ride. I've had the honor of being passed by him twice in one ride. Uh, he just zoomed past me on Mulholland Drive and then I kept going and then somehow he passed me again. I don't know if he was like looping around or what. I like to think he maybe like pulled off on a road and then passed me, but I don't know. He's so fast, he probably just did like a full loop. Anyway, the video of his, that I, I'll recommend you go see, his Mount Wilson above Los Angeles with bonus KOM, Phil's favorite climbs number two out of, what is this, like 23,948, or no, 2,394, uh, whatever. There's a lot of them. The video is really great. It's cool. Uh, Mount Wilson is a mountain like way up uh, behind Los Angeles. I didn't pace it awesome. I forgot 5,000 feet kind of counts for altitude. After seeing this, I went and did the climb as like my big end of summer goal last year. It kicked my butt, but it was so rewarding. And yeah, for all those reasons and more, I love to watch Phil's YouTube. You should check it out too. One more. Uh, I know who it is. You may know who it is if you've, you know, peaked while we're spinning, but I'm still gonna spin because I wanna see how many spins it takes to get to the last one. Here we go, spin one. Oh, look at that right away. The vegan cyclist. Also funny, not British. Uh, I don't know why I'm talking about British people so much. Let's talk about Tyler, the vegan, uh, who is not British, but is vegan and is an amazing YouTuber. So he's been YouTubing for a long time. So he has like this huge library of content, which is great for somebody like me who likes to just like binge, go watch his videos and you can like dig through all of them. One of my favorite videos is actually one of his most recent. So he does these really cool, like epic, super long endurance rides. Like he did one through like most of Southern California through Death Valley in the parking lot after the end of it messes up his hip, like breaks a bone. And he made a series of videos about the recovery journey and they're super inspiring because he's putting in the work. You can tell it's painful. You can tell it's a lot of work, but he's doing it and it's really cool to watch. He also has this, like I learned from his channel that um, at the beginning of each year in Yosemite, they close down 
or when they're opening the roads, they open them first to bikes only for a week before they open them to cars. So that's on my bucket list of things that I want to go do. But, you know, in the meantime, I'll probably just go <laughs> rewatch the vegan cyclist videos on it because it looks amazing. There's this one shot of like riding through the tunnel into Yosemite. Mind blowing, amazing. Like it's beautiful and I want to go experience that for myself. Yeah. There's my f five of my favorite YouTubers. Those are not the only YouTubers, I w not the only cycling YouTubers I watch. I also watch a lot of just YouTubers. But other channels I wanna shout out, uh, Francis Cade, Cam Nichols, Rafa Films, like as in Rafa the like sportswear uh, brand. They do a lot of series with Lachlan Morton of the uh, EF Education team. The guy is crazy. Like right now he's doing the Tour de France like plus the transfers all alone. It's several extra thousand kilometers. Insane. I'm looking forward to the film they make of that. DC Rainmaker, uh, GP Llama, both awesome for like reviews of cycling things. I'm gonna leave all of these in the descriptions for my five favorites. I'm not only gonna leave links to their channel, I'll also leave links to my favorite videos from all of them. I hope if you're not into cycling, this has maybe piqued your interest a little bit and you check them out. If you are into cycling, I hope this, maybe I introduce you to somebody new. Like I mentioned, I'm working on this like a big, big for me, uh, YouTube video on the Peloton to see if I can get stronger. It's a five week program. I'm four weeks into it. Around week three, there was a big issue like this. I don't want to give anything away. <laughs> It's gonna be good for the video. It was really painful and really annoying. If you're interested in it, you know, subscribe <laughs> for that content. Uh, and that way you'll know when that video comes out. For this video, if you liked it, please like this video. And yeah, that's it. I'll see you guys in the next one.